talk to Mayor Bowser and tell her that he would sign this bill if it came to him, if the Senate passed it before you've talked to Senate Democrats about this today? Yeah, I don't have any uh, call to preview. We don't have a call to preview uh, uh, with, uh, with Mayor Bowser. As you know, she's the mayor of D.C., so we have a close, uh, uh, close connection with her. We, my, our team here uh, speaks to her often. Uh, just don't have anything to preview as a conversation with the president or not. She's talked to people here at the White House about this legislation? I, I can't speak to this particular legislation. What I can say is that we are in regular touch with her. Uh, she is, uh, because she is right here in D.C., uh, she is, um, you know, she's here often. There's regular conversations that's had with our team here, with her team. I just don't have a, a specific conversation on this legislation to read out to you at this time. Okay. Uh, so going back to Zolan's question, uh, first question, um, the. If you're not going line by line, I guess my question is, what is it about this legislation specifically that the, is the president opposing, other than the broad concept of? of I mean, that that's the answer. The broad, the broad. What about it, does he does he feel no, like makes DC unsafe? No, I understand. The broad concept of it is that he wants to make sure that uh, you know communities feel safe, and he feels this is a way, a step forward in doing that, and so. Look, we u I use the carjacking as, as an example, just as a quick example so people can understand. I'm not going to go line by line. That's not something that we tend to do here, go line by line on every piece of legislation. We tend to lift up things that make sense, things that uh, uh, that can be easily understandable for the American people. So that's just an example that I used. But more broadly, this is a president who has led on making sure, putting forward uh, historic, uh, historic plans to make sure that Pub, there's public safety is is a priority to make sure that law enforcement uh, are able to that we have law enforcement that go into communities and make make sure communities feel safe. Uh, if you think about it, this is a president during when he was senator started the cops program, right? That is another uh, another um, kind of apparatus that he put forward to make sure that communities felt safe, uh, and that's what he's going to continue to do. Is there something besides carjackings that make people feel unsafe about this specific uh, uh, piece of legislation? What I can tell you is this is a this is a piece of legislation that the mayor objected to. The D.C. Council moved forward with on, uh, but the president feels very strongly on this. He feels that we need to make sure that all communities, including D.C., the here the folks who live in D.C., uh, feel safe, and he feels that this taking this action does exactly that. So the, the other thing I wanted to ask about was conceptually about statehood. Um, there are all kinds of instances where uh, legislatures override a governor's veto. They're at odds, but a law passes, and presumably the president doesn't feel like that. Uh, imperils their statehood. Mm -hmm. What is it in this instance that I'm still st sort of struggling how he can support statehood for DC and their right to be able to pass these kinds of laws, even if he disagrees with it, but that in this instance he's deciding not to allow them that opportunity? Because this, this, this is just different. This is different, again, because the D.C. Council put these changes uh, forward over the mayor's objections. And so this is a, just a uniquely different situation that the president has been presented with and is going to take action on. If they had statehood, then the council could pass this. And, it and that would be law. great. And that, that would be fine, right? Because the statehood would allow them to be the 51st state, and it would allow them uh, to act as their own uh, as their own entity. And the president is continuing to fight for that. He's been calling for that for the past 20 years. They don't have that yet. So this is not this is some, a, a a piece of legislation that's being presented to him, and he's going to take action on behalf on behalf of the American people, including in D.C. on, be, on behalf of keeping the public safe, including in D.C. And that's what you're seeing the president do. But doesn't mean he's not going to call on uh, making sure that uh, uh, D.C. is indeed a statehood. So this again, this has been presented to him. He's going to take action on behalf of the American people. But of course, he wants to make sure uh, that D.C. does have statehood, as he's been calling for for decades. Go ahead. 